Welcome to the art vlog with me, George Dopamine. Uh, today we're on the south bank of the River Thames back at Tate Modern to review a show by Lubaina Hamid. Um, this is actually the only the fourth time that the Tate have afforded a full retrospective to a living British artist. So she's following in the footsteps of such luminaries as Gilbert and George, Damien Hirst and Steve McQueen. God, I love that show by Steve McQueen. That was fantastic. Um, I know a bit about Hamid's work. I can picture it, um, especially obviously mainly focused on paintings, but also some, some other um, more, more, more um, conceptual work as well. Um, she's obviously a Tate, uh, a Turner Prize winner, sorry, um, uh, in 2017. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing a big old retrospective and, 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 and um, getting to know her anew. Um, this show is on until the 3rd of July, so we've got a long time to come and see it. It's actually in the, in the new Tate extension. She's been given a whole floor. So I'm really fantastic representation of Hamid's work. Um, so come and join me. Um, and as we, as we walk into Tate Modern, obviously, as always, uh, in these COVID times, you have to book in advance. So the vibe of the exhibition was not one of a traditional retrospective in a formal sense of, of, of plodding through chronologically every sort of stage of him his career, but it absolutely was a retrospective in showing the, the true diversity of him his work, from sculptures to paintings to sound works and so much more, including a, a piece harking back to her time as a theatrical designer. Um, and I really love seeing this, um, this range. Um, I think also the, 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 the gallery spaces that, that Tate used in their new extension um, really did the works justice. These big walls where her paintings could be expressed and, and it was quite lovely actually because there were five sound works and there were certain points in the exhibition where they echoed and, 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 and kind of over, overlapped with each other um, creating a real sense of drama. So I thoroughly enjoyed that that. Um, a bit of the I really enjoyed the vibe it was an exhibition I spent well over an hour in um, absorbing the works going round and round again and again yeah so it was a nice um, a nice vibe of, of showing a really really important artist and it kind of to me um, seeing all these works together um, consolidated consolidated my opinion of her as, as a great artist And for me, the highlights actually surprised me. They were the five sound works on display and the way that these sounds, as I say, ebb and flow. My favourite one actually was Naming the Money, um, which is a, a, a series of, 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 of stories of, of African um, slaves and uh, servants who have been forcibly transported to the, in inverted commas, New World. Um, it, it, it was it was back the backdrop was was a really diverse range of music including some lush jazz and some some um, very baroque classical music um, I also really enjoyed blue De grid test which hopefully you can see here and old bloke new money um, combines this sculpture um, which sort of it, it, is obviously representing a boat but but also is stacked against the wall in a kind of wave and is combined with sound with a soundscape which really immerses you um, her her paintings um, are sometimes seen as, as a bit divisive I've read a couple of reviews in the Times and the Observer which which have, have sort of criticized them for being hollow and cold 
but I actually see that as distance. Um, you can hopefully see some here. You know, we're looking in at lives who are going through some really explosive moments, um, some really tense moments. It might be a negotiation or a discussion, um, and and you're sort of looking in very much from the outside. But I, I actually really enjoy the distance that Hamid puts into these works. Um, I really enjoyed a set of paintings that are named after a um, a slave ship that saw 39 Africans, men and women, chucked overboard after an outbreak of a particularly horrible disease which caused blindness. This this set of works is called the Rondeur, and she almost reimagines this ship, as you can hopefully see from these images now, um, in, in a very, very different light. But again, you can hopefully sort of get a sense of the distance, if you like, and the sort of that th there's there's not it's not like looking at a Rembrandt painting where you're thrown straight in to the emotion of the person and the work, and almost like you feel you know them. That's to my mind not her intention. Um, some of the works are on the surface playful, like the flags at um, the entrance, full of positive messages, which hopefully you can see now. These were based on East African Kanga fabrics and Jelly Mold Pavilions for Liverpool. Um, one of the first works that you see on the surface is is is, is a fun set of Victorian um, jelly moulds. But then when you look more closely, as you can hopefully see here, um, there are some hidden surprises, and these jelly moulds were produced by Hamid as part of that. I must as well mention, by the way, the, the Plan B paintings. I really um, wasn't as, as aware of those as, her, as her, her figurative works later on, and they kind of they they showed they were ambiguous, but they showed images of water, images of escape, of balconies, as you can hopefully see. Um, sometimes more abstract, sometimes very very not much 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 clearer. Um, so enjoy the art as a whole, and I think it it really seeing this work together shows why Hamid is considered to be one of our greatest artists. So overall, do I recommend this show? Yeah, I do. It is worth the £16 that is the full admission price and there's obviously reductions for, for concessions. Um, I, I, it just it, It's just a wonderful opportunity to see a large range of the work of one of our greatest um, British artists. Hamid emerged from the black British arts movement determined to challenge the white, uh, often male supremacy of art. and. For lots of for, for her early career, you know, she was working on the margins of the British art scene. And so this is a really welcome thrusting to the centre. It's well curated, um, it's well paced, and, and the, the galleries that it is based in, in the, in the modern Tate extension, are large and, and do justice to the works. And there's some wonderful moments where the sound works kind of overlap, so you're totally immersed in her work. I spent a good hour um, plus in the exhibition looking at works going round and experiencing them several times. And um, as I say, my favourite work, Naming the Money, I actually sat um, you know, with for, for a very long time, really absorbed by the piece. It's a work which continues to to um, do the really important job that we're seeing from so many artists of 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 almost reclaiming history through art um, and 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 also providing works of real beauty. So do get along there because this show's got a long run. It's on from November until the third of July. Um, as a result, there are lots of tickets available, and I really encourage you to to go along and be absorbed by Hamid's work may be taking in as well a turbine hall installation or another exhibition but it's worth it on its own it's it's, it's a really fantastic p p exhibition so overall as i say i would give it a really solid a good eight out of ten i thoroughly enjoyed it will i be back absolutely yeah um, I, I will visit it probably a couple more times before the third of july um do keep visiting art exhibitions and do subscribe to the art vlog and click the notification bell because I'm a bit random when I upload, so um, you can get a notification that way. Thank you very much and keep safe.